In this presentation, I am going to demonstrate how to address one of the possible issues around statement calculation in LS retail. So the underlying issue is for a given store or terminal or date, the statement does not calculate. You might have a custom process to calculate and post statements automatically using a job scheduler or if the volume is not too high, the user might be posting, calculating and posting statements for each store manually. Whatever the case, whether it's automatic or being calculated manually, it will apply to both the scenarios. Now, this example here assumes the, uh, that the architecture would be you are having a separate database for the head office and the store or the post station. All the transactions would be posted on your store database or the post station database. Then these transactions would be pulled to your head office database where the statements would be calculated and posted. There are some steps that we need to follow, which I am going to give you a quick walkthrough of now. So I have two databases here, one for the head office and the store. Now I'm going to start with the actual problem. If you see here, this is the statement for the store Krona Supermarket South, and uh, it's being calculated for 23rd of December 2020. I'm just going to calculate this statement. And you see, it does not populate any lines here, which we'd expect to. So the first thing you should check is actually there are transactions for the day or not. So I'm going to the head office database and in the transaction register, I have filtered for the date and the store to see if there are transactions. And I do see there are transactions here and you have a float entry and tender declaration entry. So all looks good. So there has to be some issue with the calculation. So one thing what you can check is on the store card in the statement tab you have got the safe management in use as active which indicates that you need to have end of day procedure done from your post station for demonstration i am showing going to disable this and see how different it would look if i am going to disable this click on ok and now i'll just calculate the statement and it does populate the data However, we'd expect it to populate with, with that safe management option turned on. The reason being the root cause here is something else, which we would get to see now. Uh, I'm just going to go back and revert the setup and uh, enable the safe management because we don't want to change any setup on the store card. So I've just enabled the safe management and uh, just to make sure that we are at the same state. So I'm going to first clear the statement and it gives a message that all transactions have been untagged and then I'm going to recalculate the statement. All right, so now we are at the same situation where we were. Uh, as a next step of for troubleshooting, I would just go back to the head office and see, okay, everything is good. So I would just compare this with my store database. So if you see the last transaction for this, for the date uh, of 23rd in the head office is 526. And I would just, as a quick check, see that in my store database. However, if you see this, this is a store database, it's slightly different, it has got last transaction number as 527 and I see that there are two tender declaration entries. So definitely there is something wrong here in the head office. So just having a quick look here. So if I just scroll back to this one, so uh, there are no tender declarations entry on this one. So probably on the post, there's nothing been posted here, but on this one, the last one, the tender declaration entry, there definitely is some tender declaration entry here and most likely the reason is that th this entry is not available in the head office and that likely could be the issue so uh, what i will do is i will 
I will pull that that the transaction from the store to the head office. So this is my scheduler window of the head office. I have already created a job to pull the data from my store. So if I go to the job card, you can see I have defined that from location from the store database. I want to pull the data to my HO since the statements are being posted in the HO and other things are pretty much standard. I have defined a sub job. Now sub job is uh, created to specify which from which table to which table we need to replicate the data and there are other parameters like if you want a normal replication or by actions. I have specified one transaction header as my sub job and if I go to the navigate tab I have specified these are some of the link tables uh, which are defined here and when I'm going to pull the transaction header all these the data related to these link tables will be processed now this is not an exhaustive list of the link tables you you might have more the card entries and the other data and also there is a different way of configuring the the sub job so instead of having one one transaction header job and multiple link tables you could even have uh, one job for each of these link tables so that's a different way to configure that uh, coming back to the filters here so on the sub job i have defined this filter so what i'm saying is i i want to pull the transactions only for this store this terminal and this is what the date so for this particular date i want so the 20 i have 23rd 12 uh, december i want to pull all the transactions so these are the filter that i have set on the sub job and uh, i'm just going to go back to my job the pull transaction job i'd probably run it from my schedule screen and here I am going to say okay. Uh, I am going to run this job. So once I run this, I am going to just quickly verify that my job was successful, and it says okay. The records have been affected. Now the next step would be to check my transaction register in the head office. So I am just going to refresh this and see okay great so now you see this additional tender declaration is populated so you and you have an associated tender declaration data also so you so you might also have a case where you know you have uh, a tender declaration entry over here but the associated tender i mean the transaction header entry is here but the related tender declaration entry is missing so again in that case you the statement would not calculate it so uh, that is another scenario of uh, you know missing data here we have definitely the transaction header and the associated uh, tender declaration missing but it could be only the tender declaration missing as well so now i am going back to my open statement and uh, just going to do a calculate statement to see now we have the data or not in head office and you see it's different all right excellent now this is what we were expecting so with the data in head office uh, we after pulling the data we, we you can see that uh, the after the tender declaration being pulled you have all the data here so this is how you can do that for the job which we use there are different ways to pull that you can pull either only a specific transaction or or maybe you can just uh, have it pulled for the whole day or you can just make change in the counters uh, to do that so different ways to do that all right i hope this was uh, helpful to you if you have any issues concerns or any feedback please feel free to reach out to us and we will be more than excited to help you out thank you thanks for watching this archer point video if you found it helpful Make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.